Okay, the last test we're going to talk about is the F test, and um, it's really used outside, um, well, I'll just leave it there, really used outside of ANOVA. And, and this is, uh, if you look at the data we have here, if it looks familiar, this is from when we did the T test. Now, remember I said the T test uh, tests the means, the averages. Uh, the F test compares the uh, variance, or the ANOVA. So what I'm going to do is, is just simply um, come in here, you to F and test array one and compare that to array two. And so what you see here is let me reformat into percent. There's less than a, a, a point zero one percent, less than one um, hundredth of a percent. A chance that um, the variation I'm seeing is as a result of random chance. Okay, and and we can see that. What I'm going to do is come down here below it. I'm just going to type in standard deviation. So the standard deviation on the first array is uh, 0.159, whatever. I can't read it. And on the second one, it's 0 0.061. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference between uh, um, the two arrays. Again, the SEF test, it tests is on variance as opposed to means like the T test. We're going to use that a lot in ANOVA. That's the basis for an ANOVA, analysis of variance. So you want to work with the variance.